Kate Middleton on Tuesday arrived in Denmark on a two-day visit. It's her first visit foreign visit since the pandemic began. The Duchess of Cambridge visited the Copenhagen Infant Mental Health Project at the University of Copenhagen as her first engagement of Denmark tour. As Prince William's wife arrived in Denman, photographs of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex dining with Princess Eugenie appeared on a U.S. gossip website. Royal expert and TV personality Richard Eden, while commenting of Sussex's pictures, wrote on Twitter, Coincidence? Photographs of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex dining with Princess Eugenie appear on a U.S. gossip website on the very day that the Duchess of Cambridge is making her first foreign visit since the pandemic. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got a taste of what they left behind in the U.K., because one of the royals made her way to the U.S. for a little chow and a little conversation. Princess Eugenie and hubby Jack Brooksbank broke bread with Harry and Meghan in Santa Barbara over the weekend. It seems Harry and Eugenie have a close connection closer than he has with some of the other royals, including his dad and his brother. Harry took Eugenie to the Super Bowl the weekend before, so it sure seems the two are pretty close. They certainly have a UK connection, Eugenie and Jack now live in Frogmore Cottage, the same place Harry and Meghan lived before bolting England. The dinner came on the heels of a grievance Harry had about the royals protecting his kids. As we reported, Harry will not take Archie and Lilibet to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June because the fam refuses to provide security for the kids. So, in a way, dinner with Eugenie is like the mountain coming to Mohammed. In the other hand, during the Duchess of Cambridge's solo trip to Denmark, many noticed that she often made anxious gestures. Body language expert Judy James has said Kate Middleton definitely seemed nervous at various moments during her overseas tour. The expert said, there are only a couple of gestures that hint at any potential feelings of nerves or any suggestion of anxiety about the current crisis in the royal firm back home. In one pose, Kate has both hands on the handle of her bag and is holding it in front of her torso in a barrier gesture that makes her look less assured than she does when she is walking with the bag hanging at her side. And when she sits at the table for her meeting at the university, she is the one in the group sitting with her hands on her lap rather than on the table like the others giving them the edge in terms of signals of spatial dominance and status. James explained further. She added, it makes her look a little unsure, but then the world of the boardroom is not her natural habitat and hopefully she spread out a little as the meeting went on. However, despite the various moments of nervousness, James did note that in many of the photos, Kate showed a keenness and a purpose as she visited the Scandinavian country. The royal has been pictured this week in Copenhagen visiting the center of early childhood to learn about Denmark's approach to early childhood development while wearing a white shirt and a red Zara jacket. James said, on the whole, Kate is stamping her royal profile with a look of calm confidence and charm here as she undertakes her first solo trip abroad since the pandemic kicked in. Although she produces a perfect and often fun-looking double act with her husband, Prince William, Kate appears to project higher levels of assertive confidence here by herself, James said. Her outfit looks like an intentional statement of a more brusque, business-like approach and that sentiment is very much echoed in her handshaking techniques. James added that when Kate waves to the crowd and shakes hands with fans, she shows warmth and modesty.